Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. What you see, <laughs> this is April the 1st. So I'm kind of, I've been uh, hemmed up just waiting for this April Fool's joke to yeah. pop up. Oh, but no. so far he's acting good to me. <laughs> and obviously this ain't possum, so I can't really pull that on him. Thank the Lord. <laughs> this is Chris and his wife, Christy. They have a channel called Boots and Bonnets and they're from Texas, where I'm from. And if you ever see my channel and you wonder, why is this man so crazy? <laughs> Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> so her channel, his channel, it's a largely based around cooking. Not 100%. It's a little bit like my channel. They just have freedom because they're Texans, right? But they do a lot of cooking, which why wouldn't they? Yeah, and, they like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> and so in today's video, I'm going to have her help me. We're going to do this. She already knows what Camp Dog oh, is yes. because she had also been dealing with Papa Scott. Yes, good Papa stuff. Papa Scott's a good, good man. Good stuff. So we're going to be taking Mangalitsa pork chops. They haven't eaten Mangalitsa flesh. No. Now, some people think you shouldn't eat meat. We think you should. I'm actually on a diet right now. I don't eat nothing but meat. And I feel more energy than I have in a long time. You might can see it all over me right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Yeah. Meat, yeah. meat energy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the smoker already hot, ready to go. We're going to cut this bag open. And we're going to get going on it. All right. I always keep a knife around. You never know when you need to castrate a hog or what. Oh, no. I told y'all. <laughs> oh, no. I ain't that bad, really. But now, I'll tell you, you won't believe. You see this fat? Mm -hmm. That fat was thicker than that meat. I trimmed that down to wow. be that much. That fat was literally this thick. And in my video right now, I'm going to pop up a picture of it. Okay. This is what it looked like before I trim it. It's unreal. And so I'll just cut her open like this. And I'm going to just lay it out here to where it's easy to season. Actually, I'll leave it on this plastic and we'll have less cleanup. How's that sound? Yeah, I like that. And, uh, yeah, this is known. Mangalisa is known for, like you said down there, that they're more of a fatty. Fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, she used to cook. I'm just a rook, so I'm gonna let her. I've never cooked this before, so yeah. this uh, this has salt in it, but we're yeah. not gonna put. Uh, but it has it's less salt, salt uh, right. than a Tony Sacheries or, or whatever. Like so, that. yep. Yeah, we love we love this, and and you've got a discount code on oh, yeah. yours. That's right. If they'll drop down in the descriptions, they get that twenty percent off. But honestly, it's cheap enough. It is. It, it really unreal. is. And I have the same if you look down in the description. So we'll just put yeah. a little. Do you like doing it on both sides or do you just do it on one side? I do it on one side. And you do it on one when side? When I flip it, I might throw some more on. Okay. We'll, yeah. do, we'll do it your way. I don't know. We'll, we'll do it your way. I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, you can't go wrong with this this uh, oh, this man. stuff here. You, mm -hmm. We've always loved it. So. Well. You've got the distinguishing. All right. You get. You're distinguished now. You're the first woman to ever season my meat on my channel. Oh. All right. Wow. I, hey, I tell you what, that is a privilege. And, uh, <laughs> All right. Here, trust me. I'm gonna take the cap off and we'll get the heat rolling. Right, right now, it's probably smoky, smoky. It's shut down. Throw a little air to it. Yep. We'll throw a little air to it. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think the temperature is? You got a gauge on that? Uh, or you just no, right now it's you know not it? even hot enough to cook. It'll take just a minute. Okay. Right, right there is. Yeah, it's pretty warm there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got directions right on it. So I really don't want a heavy, heavy smoke. I'd rather have just the fire and a little, a little smoke. smoke. So we'll get it going. And once the flame starts to roll in a little bit and the smoke clears up, uh, it, the smoke will be rolling over the top of it mostly. I'll just go ahead and throw some in there. This ain't just a whole lot of meat, but we've got that whole pork that oh, this is plenty. Cynthia's in there pulling right now. We weren't even expecting. Yeah, he's put on the dog for or yeah. the hog. For us. <laughs> the hog. We was wanting to come by and visit. I haven't seen him probably since I was maybe 13, 14, maybe. I don't know what what year did you? I think do? I saw you. I know for a fact I saw you last. You didn't see me. Uh, where was because that? you was up front playing the bass with Mikey Maxson playing the drums at OBI at uh, at uh, Convocation. Okay. So so that was 92. Okay, 92. Wow, that's, so that's, that's 30 years. 
Yeah. yeah. 32 so it's been, years. It's been, I was 18, 19 years old. Yeah. Okay. And I tell you, this guy, he got to live the dream life back Aww. then. I mean, his his uh, his buddy, his buddy got to got to play the drums and he got to play the bass in a big choir. Oh. And they they run nationally. I mean, not oh. not just it wasn't that popular. Stage. And I got to see him. I got oh. to see him doing it. And I I remember one time this was probably not convocation. It might have been. Uh, I know what youth camp you did. Swapped out with him, let him play the bass, and you played the drums. We we we've been friends for a long time. It's funny we kind of grew up. That guy you're talking about, we used to not be that great of friends. We just talk, <laughs> but I guess maybe when I got a little older, we kind of it just kind of clicked. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But and for I don't know if how much you talked on your other channel, but Micah used to come to our my parents. They were friends, and we would hunt together on the weekends on Saturday. Hunting, yeah. And they went to our church, and so we hung out on Sundays and hunted on Saturdays. So yeah. that's how we got. He's just a slightly little bit younger than me. I know I look a lot younger than him. <laughs> but anyway. But, Here, you can dig. dig. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, I'll be 50 this year. Okay. Yeah, I turned 46 this year. Okay. He's probably closer to my brother, Second Jeremy. Brother. Yeah. Jeremy was H. three months uh, younger than me. Okay. And I would ne not be able to tell you that, except that meant a lot to him. Did it? it made him so mad. So you got a part. It's hard I to see it. Fire, yeah. Yeah. It's an offset, so mm -hmm. fire's all down there. Everything's in direct heat. Do you ever close the deal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And that, I'm not sure how closed off I'll make it because that does create more smoke. But as long as I got that back open, it shouldn't. I should be able to close it and cook it without it just belching all kinds of smoke. Mm -hmm. The other meat we're gonna eat is gonna be plenty smoky, so I don't oh, really yeah. care if this is. This I'm is... so excited. So excited to try this thing, Lisa. Yeah. He's eating the bacon and uh, <laughs> something else the other, not long ago, and I was, I told Chris, I said, when we go up there, I want to try, even if it's just a little spare, I want to try nah, You just gotta be honest now. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't what you said. <laughs> She told me she, she didn't want to eat possum. That's no, no, she I said didn't. she wanted to eat possum. No, no possum, no or coyote, bobcat. no bobcat, no coon. The skunk was just as good as any of them. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, I told them, I said, it's it's April 1st. We ought to. Yeah. After they, after well, they eat that pulled pork. Tell her. I've heard your sister tell the story of you taking a bobcat casserole to a church dinner yeah. yeah. and nobody knew it until after you done and ate it all. Or oh, yeah. What was it you made not long ago when you poured a bunch of enchilada stuff on it? Possum. With possum? Mm -hmm. Possum enchiladas. That was, oh, so good. Mm. Man, I hate that we missed it. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I can I'll, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll take your word for it. Yeah, well, that wood smells good. I love that smell. Yeah, so that's a mixture of hickory, red cedar, and oak. Really, because uh, like the Spring Creek barbecue place down at home, they use exclusively hickory. Really? And I love that smell. Uh -huh. Yeah. They got it all piled up on their front of their porch. Okay. Hickory is extremely hard wood, but it, it once the fire gets into it, you can't shut it off. I mean, really? it burns. So is that predominant trees around here? Yeah, we've got plenty of hickory. Okay. Uh, oak. The only one that y'all smoke with in Texas we don't have is the uh, mesquite. Okay. We don't have a single mesquite. Right. I don't use it too much. It burns pretty hot. Does it? Uh, a lot of people will throw a chunk or two in like if they're grilling to get the okay. smoke. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you try it, <laughs> I mean, you have to really choke it down because it gets roaring. Really? It, gets real, it burns real hot. Okay. I like post oak. Is yeah. Like, so. yeah. But that's what we have a lot of a lot of so yeah that oak it i've been smoking my my cold smoke using okay. a lot of oak of course red oak but yeah still it's it's a good smoke oh yeah it's time oh look darling no burning it yep it's all burnt i it's gonna smoke be another burnt offering for you uh oh well, he's up there checking out the couch oh, oh, there wow. that looks beautiful yeah so this other side's not going to require just a whole lot of cooking, but I'm going to reach in and throw some camp dog on it. Okay, and some more of that Himalayan, uh, or no, just probably, the camp dog? Okay, more. we don't want to get too salty, do we? Right. You know, whenever you married Micah, that he was quite a chef like this? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Don't listen to anything in the background because there's no telling what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. She did not know I was going to be cooking her skunk. That's what she didn't know. Do you enjoy eating that raw stuff like that? Or? Oh, yeah, she does. She loves it. Don't make her. You don't put words in her she mouth. She loves it. She can talk for herself. She loves that skunk. This won't be just a minute or two, and that'll be out of there. Yeah. Dad, I said, I bet they starve him for a week, and then give him a little bit of bobcat or whatever. And that way he has to then, say. Then, then, then Micah asks to see, is he good, boys? He's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right, but. <laughs> Oh, you, you know, we wouldn't do them that way. What's your favorite thing that you've ever, um, that you've ever eaten that's wild? What's your favorite, boy? What's your favorite? Think on in a minute. What do you look forward to the most? Like when it comes trapping season, hunting season, yeah. all that. What, which one are you thinking? Boy, that's going to be good. The skunk. The skunk. Really? All right. He's <laughs> <laughs> you think it was good? You know, when we first started YouTube, that's how we came on the YouTube scene was fried skunk. If you fry it, you don't bake it. Or right, something. right. And uh, so my first video was how to skin a skunk, and the next video was how to fry a skunk. Where did you learn that? I don't know. Did your family do that? No. They say your dad would eat wild game, but I don't remember us <laughs> eating that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he didn't. I just, uh, Got it. I learned that. Uh, I could kill the scent with the peroxide and the baking soda mixed together, and that kills the scent. So I learned how to do that, and then I just went on step one, step two, and, and uh, I think it, he was in the first video when he ate that skunk heart, and I asked him, well, how does that taste? And he said, beef. Mmm. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. What does it taste like? Beef. Beef, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. If we come down to some really hard times, this family's going to be surviving. <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's get it out of here before we... Oh, well, it burn. looks good. Your wife loves doing it. I just... It does? Okay. Yeah, Maine right. has enough fat that it'll stay, uh, stay moist even if you cook it while I'm done. That's one of the nice things about all that fat is it doesn't get so dry. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> Look at all that. Right. It's even got some grill marks. Yes. Some, Makes some it of pretty, them doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> we eat by looks. All right, we're gonna go in the house. We're gonna take us a bite and see how this tastes. Does it smell good? It smells good. It does. It looks good. Chris, it almost smells as good as possible. <laughs> oh, man. Well, lucky little trails you made with that. That really helps keep it It helps bad. keep it clean, yeah. It's hard to keep it clean without it. You know, we've already had 15 inches of rain here this year. <laughs> really special. We yeah. was not expecting I didn't ask. Really. We, I told you I wanted to come see you. I didn't want you to do all that. And that was it. <laughs> Well, you just gonna have to suffer through it. Okay? Well, I sure appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. That happens when you got lifelong friends, I guess. Right? That's right. That's right. What do you need me to do? That's your spot, right? Is that where you're That's sitting? That's my spot. This is Mary's uh, yep. Cynthia's seat. Let me try, please. Caleb sits kind of right in the catfish. That'd be one. Caleb, yep. Yeah. Cynthia sits in there. Right, this one? Okay. Yep. At least today she will. Sometimes she sits at the end, but I guess the company that threw, uh -huh. somebody had to get kicked out. <laughs> so that's the full part, that's the, or the... Yeah, we call it PP for short. Full possum. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say something else. <laughs> that wild hog was caught with 15. There was 15 in that group when they got caught. Really? This one? Yeah. And uh, Pete Gunther, he's a farmer. I'll over try it. Yeah, and uh, it was only like this big. It don't have no wild taste. So that's what I was worried about. I... She can eat something that tastes normal, and then yeah. if you tell her what it is, yeah. you know, oh, you know, I noticed that. Yeah. This in here, I don't think she will because it's so small. You don't have to them on my That's what I like. That they've been sitting. Fatty that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. good, no, 
will. Potatoes. Does everybody have a knife? Because um, I got mine from right there. I don't you have a knife? Both don't have oh, we one. can just go like this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the country. That's, that's, that's how we eat when we was little. Yeah, I'm sorry. You want him to come? Do you want any uh, camp dog on it or something? Sure, I'll try. He'll want some camp dog on his potatoes. So if your piece turns out not to be good, just get another one. Man, I don't think it's going to matter, but he all look good. The one I got turned out super good, so I'm hoping. Oh, it's good. so tender. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is what I like. Very, very tender. I wish I had another tripod. Let me have it and I'll hold it for you. Yeah, this was trying. It's so funny. Well, he's teaching you on those right now. Yeah, you're on he the got edit. A video. He got edited all that out now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to only keep the parts that he don't want me to keep. <laughs> this Fang Lisa is good. It's very, very tender. I wasn't expecting because a regular pork chop, you know, from wherever, is not as tender, but that's tender. I haven't tried this one yet. Too. Don't have the wild taste. That's what I. Yep. It's good, good, good. It was too young to get any wild taste. Very good. Mangalisa is like the. What do they say? The, the ribeye of, rib of the. Well, yeah, know. of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Same as the Sand Hill Crane. Have you ever ate any of those? I heard that they never be. I really want to someday. Just try it. Yep. My, my son's always talking about that. There you go. Thank you. We can make one of these boys stand here the rest of the no. meal. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's what my kids hate. They're like, can we just have some can we just video eat? in peace? <laughs> Did you grab these potatoes? Oh, yeah. Really? We got two rows. I think I got the red ones and the... Uh, I don't know what those, the uh, red ones and the new potatoes and uh, something you call gold, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are last year's potatoes and they're still just as. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you can them the or just cellar. set them in the. Okay. Yeah. They like a cool, damp, like okay. dry and warm, they don't do well. So where's the cellar? Y'all have that too? Underneath right there in the house. Oh. Yeah, I mean, and they just. It's not a very good one, and the one I just dug out there is better, so they moved a bunch of them over there. Um, what do you do with the concrete thing? I noticed you started That's building. it. That's okay. it. It's okay. a cellar, and then on top of it, what's on top is going to be a spring house with water running through it 24-7. So, like from the well, I guess? Uh, we got a spring like 3,700 feet that way. Oh, wow. So, we're going to try to rig up a hydraulic ram pump that, that works off the water hammer. And hunt it up here. Okay. So there will be a video eventually, but right now I'm so busy with other work I can't. Don't you hate it when your work gets in the way of, <laughs> of a good video? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is really good. It is. I can imagine what it'd be like fried too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got enough room to raise some. I'm just sending some piglets back <laughs> to put them in that U-Haul. <laughs> yeah. How long will one last family your size? If it's a big one, full grown, fattened out, 400 pounder, it's kind of it's kind of hard to say because you don't just eat that nothing yeah. else. But a few a couple months, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if we didn't eat anything but that, it'd probably be gone in a month. Yeah. You uh, and then you make the you make your bacon's out of that too, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their bellies aren't really good for anything but bacon. They're just so fatty. Yeah. So you this y'all married in this was y'all's place. Yeah. And did you build this place? No. After we got married I knocked the wall out and built out that way mm -hmm. when David was a baby. But this was an old Amish house. When we bought it there wasn't a, a stick of furniture. There was no cabinetry, no plumbing whatsoever. No nothing, just bare walls and floor. Mm -hmm. And I was I had to work for a guy. And he had me take all the cabinets out, and he said he's getting new cabinets. And I said, well, what are you going to do then? Yeah. And he said, take them home what with you. Okay. So I took them home with me, right? <laughs> I, got, I was so lucky the way I was raised. I got to, I got to experience being raised like a normal Gen X right. in the town. Right. Parents, you know, that just 
Yeah. Let you play outside all day, drink out of the water hose, oh, yeah. the whole nine yards. Ride your bike. Yeah, all day long, yeah. ride a bike or play basketball, shoot yeah. hoops. Yeah. Uh, whatever was in season, whether it's baseball, basketball, or football, that was what I played all day long. Yeah. And uh, then when I got, of course, I was mowing yards and stuff, you know, making a little money. Mm -hmm. I got to hire on with a semi-retired builder, Billy Billy Joe Freeman there in Waxahachie. And so I learned some building trades right. and then moved to the Amish. They where taught you a bunch of they, I learned how to metal roof and and a, a few more things with building and and learn how to uh, grow pro produce. I was already gardening in, in Texas. Oh, really? But here I learned how to do it bigger and easier. Right. More more with less effort. How old was y'all when y'all moved to the Amish still? About 17. Okay. Somewhere around 17. And uh, we stayed in it for three years and then they left and we stayed. But um, I learned so much it was unreal. Right. And, and gained a lot of confidence just in life in general. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been neat catching up and meeting it all your... It has been so fun. Meeting all the movie stars. And <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't know it, but they got a career just... Just in, their lab. Lab. in their lab. In their Bird's nest on the ground, ain't it? Yeah. All this work you had, you got them all. Yeah. Them. Pick up their own channel, give them a shout out, and they got a bait. Boom. Yeah. We had to scrape and claw for oh. the first hundred and oh. then the first thousand. I tell you. I thought that first thousand would never come. I thought, it? man, I, I, I hit a thousand when I was uh, down in Houston with mom. Okay. And oh, I was so excited. <laughs> The 4,000 hours was a lot harder for me to hit than the 1,000 subscribers. I discovered you can you can get a sympathy subscription, but you can't get people to watch. To watch? Oh, man. All right, folks. That was the Boatners. Yes. <laughs> you want to go over? I'm going to put a link to their channel in the descriptions of this video. I may even pin one at the head of the comments for those few select. Sweet people that don't know how to go to those descriptions. Oh, brother. We know a few of them exist. Yeah. So, I would like to ask how the Mangalitsa steaks were. Oh, they were wonderful. wonderful. I would, I'm um, A plus, 100% convinced. <laughs> Real now. moist. Yeah. It wasn't yes. dry at all. It was it had great flavor. It was really good. And even the hog that you smoked was great, too. I don't know it if was. what kind it was, but it, it was, was good. It was just a wild Tennessee. <laughs> Ridge Ridge Runner. It Ridge was, Runner. It was yeah. wonderful. And the potatoes and the deviled eggs oh, and, and all of that. Sweet tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all of you that. You get treated like royalty at the McGee homestead. You yes. can't be a Texan and not like sweet tea. You know? right. That would be wrong. Yeah. yeah. We had a great time. We yeah. did. And we're glad that they came. It's been a few years in coming. Yes. But I can't say I'm no better. I ain't been to Texas, so <laughs> So, well, thanks for letting us come. Yes, sir. Absolutely. We had a blast catching up. And you'll be yeah. welcome back anytime. We we'll kill it. another pig. Yes. <laughs> or possum. More? No. But hey, <laughs> I tell you what, possum is good, but I have to say, Hog even better. as much as I like it, that <laughs> mangalitsa, mm -mm -mm, hard to beat. That's good. So, anyway, go check out Boots and Bonnets. You might want to see something cooked in a more modern way. Oh, <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> so y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the, on next... the next video. Yeah, on the next video. <laughs>